and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review and this was sent to me by Sean at the London Pen Company in Ontario, Canada. So this is uh, a lovely new box that he has. So this, uh, I have a, a copy of the old box that he used to have, a uh, cardboard box. This one is much, much nicer. So I think with that, let's uh, unbox and review this pen. So this pen is a magnetic clasp shut box. It has a little bit of a rubbery texture to it as well, which I like. And also the gold logo there of the London Pen Company. Uh, I do like this box. It's a small box. Uh, it can be discarded, but it's also uh, nice enough to actually keep as well. Uh, and so if I remove you see there the magnetic clasp if i remove the lid there you'll see you'll get a london pen company sticker you get a cleaning cloth and then you get the pen and uh, this is a pen that i had mentioned to sean that i wouldn't mind getting uh, a pen made out of material wise this is a johnson brooks uh, carolina pen company material and this is the ghost koi so this is actually made by uh, Jonathan Brooks and turned by Sean at the London Pen Company uh, into a Christopher 15. And this really is a beautiful pen that you can see there. This ghost koi material is quite stunning. Uh, it has a lot of purplish sort of swirls and white swirls. Uh, I really do like this uh, material a lot. And Sean did say to me that he managed to pick out a really good one for me. So uh, I think he bought a number of rods and turned a number of pens. And this was one of the better looking versions. Uh, so he sent me uh, this pen in for review. So uh, this is a large pen. It is a Christopher 15. So it's not a small pen by any size. But... I like this. I find that the Christopher 15s are actually quite a nice size. So if I unscrew the cap, you'll see here, this really is a beautiful uh, pen in terms of girth. Uh, if you've watched my videos, you'll know that I do like longer pens and wider pens, more girthier pens. And for me, this pen is certainly girthy. I do have a, another pen. Actually, I have two pens here from... Uh, Sean that I can show you I have another Christopher 15 there in the primary manipulation one and then I also have a Christopher 13 there in the caramel Erinoid, which is slightly longer but thinner but I do I have to say I, although I like the Christopher 13 I do like these Christopher 15 models a lot I just find that it's something I know a lot of people have said to me that uh, if they have a thin pen, it feels more comfortable in the hand. If they have a, a thicker pen, they grip it more tightly. I actually find it's the opposite for me. I find that if I have a thicker section pen, I typically don't grip it as hard. If you start gripping your pens hard, you start to find that you get hand cramp a lot. And so I typically get less hand cramp in a wider section pen. But uh, you can see this material is lovely. Now, in terms of the cap finial, it's just a polished end there that you can see. And it is quite highly polished. Uh, you can see there with my studio lights that are reflecting off of this pen. It is quite polished. Um, the material is quite a, a little bit of a chalky style material. So it doesn't necessarily polish as much to a high degree as some materials would. But I like this. Uh, you can see here even the white actually is, is beautifully, beautifully uh, polished there. So I think Sean does a really good job on this. But in terms of the length of the pen, this really is a beautiful length for me. Uh, can I post a cap? I can. It really makes it a lot longer and probably for me too long. But I know a lot of people like posting their caps. So uh, I'm just showing you that you can post that cap. And it does post quite deeply and securely. But even without posting the cap, this is a long pen. So for me, I don't need to post or don't feel the need to post that cap. 
the cap is quite light and I'll show you the weight in a little bit. So the, the cap doesn't add a lot of weight to the back end. So I don't feel like the pen is being pulled down. So the gravity weight of the pen is more down here. So you can post the cap and not feel that you're constantly wrestling with the pen. So I do like the Christopher 15 uh, model uh, a lot. Uh, I like the Christopher 13 as well. And uh, I know Sean is also coming out with a Christopher 14 model. So uh, it will be interesting to try that from Sean to see how that fits between the Christopher 13 and Christopher 15 models. But this material, uh, this ghost koi material from Jonathan Brooks, I have to say I like it a lot. I'm, I am actually liking a lot of the material that Jonathan Brooks is actually creating at the moment. And I know it's becoming very popular among pen makers. Uh, so this is a material uh, that is um, getting bought up very, very quickly. So I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample. So the full length of the pen, we are looking at the Christopher 15 at being about 148 millimeters in length. The length of the cap, we're looking about 61 millimeters in length. So that's quite a long pen for sure. And if I can stop that rolling away, the length of the pen, we are looking about 138 millimeters in length. So like I said, that is quite a, a long pen. Typically, I will say that a pen of that length, 130 millimeters or longer, would be an oversized pen. And this definitely is an oversized pen. So I think with that, let's go and do a weight check. So the full weight of the pen, and this is inked up at the moment. I have been writing with this a lot. Uh, it's just over 22 grams. So it's probably about 21 and a half grams uninked. The weight of the cap, we're looking at just over seven grams. So that's a light cap. So you can see why when I said that adding the post in the cap doesn't make it feel back weighted at all. And then the weight of the body, we're looking at just over 19 grams. So it would be just under 19 grams if it were uninked. So that's a very good weight. But you can see here, this material really is quite stunning. Uh, I, I really do like this material a lot. And I'm really uh, glad and thankful for, for Sean, not only to, to make make the pen out of this material but also to to send it to me for review because this is a a really really beautiful pen and sean does some really great work so i think with that let's do a comparison with other pens so from left to right we have a visconti homo sapiens bronze age we have a leonardo Offacina italiana memento zero this is a mediterraneo we have a london pen company christopher 13 in caramel erinoid we have a London Pen Company, uh, Christopher 15, in Primary Manipulation 1. We have the London Pen Company, Christopher 15, in The Ghost Koi. We have an Atelier Luso Carina in the Diamond Nebula. We have a Pelican M600 Turquoise White, a Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue. We have a Twisby Diamond 580 AL and a Twisby VAC 700R in the iris. So I think now let's go and do a writing sample. So this is the London Pen Company, and this is the Christopher, and it's the 15, um, and it's the Ghost Koi. Now, the nib in here, uh, I asked Sean to send a broad steel nib. Uh, it is a uh, Bok nib, but it is a steel nib. Um, I do like the Bok nibs a lot. I like Yovo as well, but, but for this, I really do like the Bok nib. Now, the ink in here is Diamine, and it's 
purple rain which is a really lovely uh, uh, purple ink. I think it matches the color of this pen quite nicely. Uh, Bar mine Purple Rain is a German ink exclusive, so you can only buy it in Germany. Now, in terms of line variation, I'd definitely say that this is probably a little bit between a medium and a broad. Uh, if I push the nib a bit harder, you can definitely get more, I'd say, wider than a broad nib. And if I push the nib here, you can see that on the figure of eight. It is a steel nib, so you're not going to get a huge amount of line variation out of it. Now, you can see by the lines here, there's no hard starts or skips. It's actually a very good writer. In terms of ink wetness, let's take a look here. This is, the ink I've got in here is, is a lot drier because it is a... Uh, very high sheening ink, uh, but uh, I find that this is still quite a wet writing nib, and I really do like how this writes uh, a lot. Um, you may be able to see here the sheen that's coming off of uh, this ink. So it, it really, there you go, you can just see that here on the London. It really, it sheens like a goldish color beautiful ink and i thought i would uh, try and ink uh, up this pen with that today what do i like what do i not like about the pen well i love uh jonathan brooks material i like and love uh the christopher 15 models that sean is turning here at the london pen company and making uh, i typically like that these don't have clips i although i have probably most of the pens in my collection have clips at least two thirds of the pens I do still find that when you have a material like this, a clip will distract from the beauty of the pen. So I, to be honest, I like it that it's a clipless pen. I like the size, I like the weight, I like the girth of the pen. I like that it has a Bok nib on there, a number six size Bok steel nib as well. What do I not like about the pen? There, there really isn't anything I like about this pen, uh, dislike about this pen. It's, it's really, a beautiful pen and I have to say that Sean has done another great job knocking this one out of the ballpark and and providing a pen that that is beautiful uh, in terms of both material but also in in terms of design as well so for me this is a really really nice pen now you can pick these pens up from Sean uh, at the London Pen Company his prices are in US dollars, not Canadian dollars, even though he is in Canada, but a lot of his uh, customers are in the US and worldwide. So it's typically easier to, to quote in US dollars instead of Canadian dollars. But these typically uh, sell for uh, around $200, but these are really, really nice. So that's my review of the London Pen Company Christopher 15 in Ghost Koi from Jonathan Brooks. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.